Well, this bit's nice because I'm sheltered from the wind. I'm not far away now from Paul Follow. I'm being chased by a ship! Oh! My God! <laughs> no! Oh, welcome, my name is Nigel, and I'm also known as a Lake Erie Vlogger. And today, because the winds just seem to be so annoying, I've decided to get away from Lake Erie and try my luck somewhere else. So I've not been able to record any vlogs for the last couple of weeks, because on Lake Erie for the last two or three weeks, we just had pretty much strong winds, uh, gusty winds, uh, small craft advisory, which is being really miserable. I mean, it's great if you want to go out and uh, take your sea out or your personal watercraft and just go bobbing around in the waves close to shore. Uh, even that can get a bit tiring. Uh, but to go on a proper adventure and explore, it's just been too dangerous. Uh, winds gusting 50, 60 kilometers an hour most weekends, even during the week. So I've decided today, the winds are strong again, so I'm gonna make my way over to Lake Ontario onto their south shore side. So I should be protected from the southwest of the winds. And I'm gonna go to a place I went with Mark Forrest three years ago, I've not been back since, on the Sea-Doo that is. And that is, I'm gonna to go to uh, uh, Port de Luzi. I'm gonna try and launch from there, check out Port Weller, and then the, do the lower Niagara River. So that's where I'm heading to right now. I'm currently on the QEW. Um, it's only about an hour from my house, 45 minutes to an hour from my house to get to Port de Luzi, depending on traffic. <laughs> All right, the marina I pulled up online is just here somewhere, so uh, hopefully I can get in and have no issues. A uh, nice ramp, concrete pad. One, two, three, four, so it's four launches here, which is nice. We'll have a little nosy around here first before I go anywhere. I need to set up as well, get some sunscreen on, get my uh, hat as well sorted out because those winds will probably blow this one off. Uh, last time I came here it was probably three years ago, so yeah, 2021, three summers ago, so two years, three summers, uh, with Mark, and we started off from um, Jordan. Um, but today I'm going to start off from here, but we'll just make our way down to the bottom end first. We'll start from the bottom, work our way up, and that one's the lake, and uh, have a laugh. So we can see what adventures we get into. Uh, people fishing here along the uh, side. It's a lovely day, by the way. Like I said, windy though. It's uh, currently uh, about 24 degrees. We've had a few cool days recently, a lot cooler than normal. Uh, on Friday, I think it went down to like 18, if I'm not mistaken. Well, today's Sunday, and it's back to 24, 25 in some places, with a very strong southwesterly wind. Now, this is part of the old uh, Welland Canal, if I'm not mistaken, this bit here. Uh, one of the original ones, like well, the old one. So, uh, the, the water just on the other side of the road here is a lot higher, so they have a floodgate here, a lock, uh, where the levels drop down, but you can't uh, go into that on a CD, you can't traverse uh, portaged over to it, I should say. Oh, look at the uh, wake up close here. So, this uh, gate here is letting a lot of water out at the moment because there's quite a lot of pressure here as I try and ride into it. Uh, very strong current coming from this. All right, we're just gonna pause the video there and give you a better look of exactly where we are. So we're in uh, Port de Luzi, which is part of St. Catharines. This is how it looks today. Uh, very modern, very green. Uh, most industry is completely gone. And I'm gonna show you exactly where I am right now. I'm right by that lock gate, which is just here. So I'm on my sea uh, right there. But back in the day, it would have looked a lot more like this. This is virtually exactly the same area. And give you a better perspective, on the old shot, that's exactly where I am now, where the arrow is right there. So, Port de Luzi. 
very, very busy shipping port uh, back in its day with ships traveling north and south uh, through the first, second and third canals. I've tried to work out which one is which. I don't know which one the first one is, but this one is the second, I believe. And this one is the third, which is where I'm located right now. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. I'm still trying to figure it out. This was a major hub of Lake Ontario uh, way back in the day where many goods were come through here to other lakes on the Great Lakes and also heading out east onto uh, the Atlantic Ocean. Very quickly, a couple of old photographs for you. Uh, this is from 1920. Uh, this is a Canadian Revenue Cruiser coming through Lock 1 on the Third Canal here in Port Dalhousie. And this is a great photograph from 1928 of a shipping jam due to an incident at a lock further up the uh, canal which had all the ships jammed into Port uh, Dalhousie with nowhere to go. And this is one of those then and now. That really was strong, believe it or not. <laughs> it spun me around really fast. But you can see the old uh, walls here and the old canal lining. Wow, I'm struggling to get some current, uh, some... Change that. There's a hell of a current here. I got my finger down pretty good and hardly moving. Right, I won't go too far because the water's a bit murky. I don't know what's below me. But yeah, this is the old uh, lock system, I'd guess. Well, this bit's nice because I'm sheltered from the wind. But you can see the current in front of you. Now, as I make my way into here, you'll see how fast we start moving. I'm just disappearing. Flying down here. I'm sideways. Just quickly stop the video right there. The building right behind me, the one with the arrow on top of it, that one right there, I believe is this particular building in this black and white photograph minus a few bits of it. So let's do a side by side comparison quickly. The left is the old picture, right is a newer one. And we'll start off with the top of the left hand building. The, the top there, right there, is completely missing from this building. And then also the part of the front of this is also missing, which is this bit here on the right, the black arrow, uh, and so on. So it, I'm sure that is the same building, but smaller because uh, the chimney's there as well. Very nice area around here. Uh, I've come down here uh, a few times in the winter for drinks on a Tuesday night with a couple of friends in the town there uh, in Port Dalhousie. Uh, this place here, the park, is very popular as well. They have a carousel uh, there, like a merry-go-round carousel. I'm still here. It's been here for years. At Neil Pert Pavilion, named after the drummer, of course, Neil Pert. So this would have been the original part, if I'm not mistaken, of um, the Welland Canal, but now the new Welland Canal, uh, which has been open for the last 100 years, is further uh, south, which we'll be going to very shortly at Port Weller. I do like a lighthouse, remember? That counts as a lighthouse. Great day. Shame about that wind, but we'll make do. Now, I always find this really neat is when channels meet one or are different flows of water and you see the contrasting colors. Now look at this. So 
you got the, the murkier green water on this side, and you got that darker texture, uh, just what we're going to ride into right now. Going right across just along here. The meeting point of the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean is one of the most incredible things to see. I hate it when you see those videos online uh, where people say, oh, this is where the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean meets. And they try and portray and it looks like that. It doesn't. Oceans when they collide do not change like that at all. Right, one thing you'll notice when you come onto Lake Ontario compared with Lake Erie, it's a lot colder, the water. Uh, lake Erie is a very shallow lake, hence it's very warm, and the waters in Lake Erie, in most places, are over 80 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Uh, some places may be even warmer in the shallower spots. Uh, here, much cooler. Uh, notice it as soon as it splashed on me. Uh, but anyway, this is a really nice public beach here from the uh, city of uh, St. Catharines. Uh, it's a bit like a crystal beach, a bit longer spread out. Uh, it would be nicer if the waters were clearer and uh, the water was warmer, but it's nice to see it's quite busy. Just over here is the entrance to Port Weller, which is the entrance to the Welland Canal, which is where boats traverse come from Lake Ontario down to Lake Erie. Well, I should say go up to Lake Erie because they've got to go up now. So they'll enter here and go through uh, um, several locks to lift them up to a higher elevation and that'll drop them off at Lake Erie and then they'll make their way over most of the down to Detroit and up Lake Sinclair, uh, Sinclair River. Uh, up to Lake Huron and so on. So a very, very busy shipping lane here on the Great Lakes. Uh, we have a ship coming in right now. Hell of a chop. Now the wind smashing against this boat and, we, and like coming back off it is creating massive swells. being chased by a ship and I love it that is a cool shot all right we'll go and follow her in as far as I can go, but this is probably right here. Uh, uh, spare gate, berth, do not enter. Yeah, so this is probably as far as I can go on the watercraft and I enter the Welling Canal. So uh, we won't go any further to be on the safe side. Or oh, does it just mean that area? Oh, maybe I can go further up. Pleasure craft dock. You can't go in there. I think that's what it means. Yeah, the two arrows are pointing to that. All right, well, we'll have a quick look at this uh, ship in the lock, because that is fucking huge. Wow! <laughs> I can't believe I'm in this point right here. So what's going to happen is this ship is going to go through the lock and once he's gone through the lock 
Uh, they'll close the other gate because he's actually moving now, so he's already gone up. So once he's gone through that next gate, the water level will come right back down again. Then they'll open this gate up to allow the harvester to come and enter, and he will go up the lock. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Can't get any closer to the Welling Canal than this. Unbelievable. Right, I'm gonna move out of the way because, like I said, I didn't see any signs saying don't come this far down, and uh, to be on the safe side, I'll go a bit further up, hang out there. Why is it every time I try and uh, get a drone up, there's always a firmware update, rather for a battery or for the controller or something. I just checked it yesterday and everything was fine. Never, never, never ceases to amaze me. Anyway, I wanted to get it up quick because all the water's coming out of the lock down there. I want to try and catch that and the ship should be coming through any second now. <laughs> on the safe side, I've moored up so I can land the drone on land <laughs> rather than try and catch it. I'm a bit nervous over the water stuff. I got a drone up over the, uh, the ship right now, trying to get it to enter, but I got to keep an eye on the battery life because this thing's pretty slow moving in there. I made a separate video on this particular ship coming into the Welling Canal, so I'll put a link. Uh, so if you're watching on your phone or your desktop or something like that, there should be a link just somewhere up here, which will take you directly to the video of the actual uh, Algoma Harvester entering the lock and so on. But the full length video, it's like 10, 15 minutes long, so you can watch that there. Jeez, look how tight it is. <laughs> Not much room, there's literally like, I don't know, six inches? Right, there she goes. We're heading out. We're heading back out onto Lake Ontario to our next stop, which will be Niagara on the Lake. Within the space of 35 40 minutes, the conditions have worsened slightly. It's starting to get a little bit rough out here. <laughs> Let's see how far I can go before I have to turn around. Uh, very choppy, uh, but it's durable still. <laughs> well, let's see how far we can get. I'm staying pretty close to the shoreline, just on the safe side. All right, I made it to Niagara on the lake. I'm just approaching anyway, so the first set of houses I've come across. Uh, Niagara on the lake is a very uh, upmarket place, really. Uh, a lot of retired, like, retired people, also a lot of wealthy people live down here. It's just one of those uh, areas which uh, attract that type of person. It's a very nice place to come and visit. Uh, now I go on the lake, the town itself is just beautiful. It's a small little, quaint little uh, town, village, what you ever call it. It's uh, very nice. Little beach here with some tourists on it. All right, we'll follow the uh, the coastline around and it'll take us onto the Niagara River. Alright, just here is uh, Fort Mississauga and uh, Mississauga Point Lighthouse, but I don't see a light anywhere. Unless it used to be here, and it's now just like a tourist thing hidden away. Uh, all I see is a golf course. Unless it's around the corner. I'll have a little look. Well, this is the Canadian side. People just taking a leisurely dip off their yacht into the Niagara River. All right, this is Queen's Royal, Royal Queen's Park? Queen's Royal Park, Royal Queen's Park. Now we're going to lake. Uh, just up here, like literally, if you're walking like a two or three minute walk, that's where the bars and restaurants are. Uh, Angel Inn and uh, the, the Prince Charles Hotel and all. Just literally just a five minute walk from there. Not really the best place to swim right here, is it? Especially with these currents at Niagara River. I just want to check over the other side. 
Right, the building in front of me is Old Fort Niagara, United States. So this is the US side, and this is a spectacular building. Uh, of course, it would have been where they uh, fought the British and the Canadians back in the, uh, back in the day, back in the 18th century, and so on. But look at this, this is just phenomenal. I actually see a red coat over there as well. Some of these buildings, uh, most of them are the original ones from the 18th century. But of course, I'm not going to land on the US today, so I, got, I can't really go any closer than that. So I don't want to touch land, because if I touch land, then I could be in trouble, because I don't have my passport with me today. nice properties along here but sadly the sun is behind them so everything's backlit so I don't know how well it's gonna show up on the camera I mean I can see them but I don't know about how you can and these cottages don't have small boats absolutely beautiful home Take it to the max, Lotto Max. Now it's time to get into the rough stuff and make our way up the Niagara River. corner is a Lewiston Bridge, Queenston Lewiston. Then you got the power plants where all the water is uh, channeled around and you know turned into electricity. So uh, oh itch. Yeah um, I'm not gonna go far today because I'm on my own. So I might just go around the corner up to the bridge and that's it. One of the most dangerous uh, bits of water probably in the world. <laughs> Whoa, I'm already feeling it right. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, you really feel it pull you from left to right really hard. I really don't want to go far today because I'm on my own. It just doesn't feel right. So I'll go a little bit up so I can see the bridge and that'll be it. Whirlpool. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Insane! Right, I can see a calm bit, I gotta get to it. Gotta get to that calm bit. Right, got it. The next rough bit is literally underneath the bridge. You can really feel the current when you ride along here. I mean, I'm going pretty full throttle. Uh, I'm only doing 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, but I've got a very strong current coming towards me.
playing chicken today. I'm not going up there. I'm just not feeling that vibe. It's running really, really fast and I'm on my own. So anyway, Queenston Bridge. <laughs> and the lower part of Niagara River. Just not worth my life today, just not feeling it. Um, funny, when I went up there <laughs> two summers ago, it never, it, it wasn't probably that bad at that end. Maybe they got a lot more force coming through right now, because we have had a hell of a lot of rain this year. So maybe there's a lot more force coming down it. But uh, these guys are a bit nutty going up there themselves. Two on a jet ski as well. I wonder how far they'll get. God. Now, if you want to see the video which I made with Mark Forrest uh, back in 2021, I'll put a link in right now, around about here. And it's, I had a camera on my head and uh, one on the front, and I kind of like did a whole video of me going there. And we got quite far. We got just short. Ooh, we got short of Devil's Falls. Wow. So, uh, yeah, Devil's Hall, whatever it's called. So uh, yeah, check that video out if you want to check it, uh, interested in the Niagara River right? In the meantime, I'm going to start heading back to Port Dalhousie and uh, get away from this horrible water. Look at it. I 
if you can see from that other camera, but that was rough coming out of the river onto the lake. And I think the conditions have got a little worse out here from when I came. And the forecast originally was for calmer winds uh, late afternoon, but uh, it seems to have gone the opposite way. So it looks like I might have a bit of a nightmare trying to get back. So once again, I'm going to stay pretty close to shore, um, try and get a bit more protection from these offshore breezes. back out of the water that is it for another adventure uh, it wasn't as good as I expected actually kind of disappointed with that one uh, the weather had a lot to do with it of course and it's quite honest the Niagara River gets a bit boring especially that bottom end uh, actually prefer it at the top end uh, but Fort Erie between there and Niagara Falls Chippewa area it's a much nicer ride than it is down this end so anyway at least I came out and tried it uh, did it on my own and uh, first time down here and, well second time I've actually ever been down here on the sea do so Anyway, until the next adventure, stay safe, look after one another, and see you all soon. Take care. Cheers.